Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 2. When we last left off, we have uh, switched the government to democracy and also the tax rate to 10, 80 and 10, which enabled us to do discoveries every single turn. However, we don't have such a great income. So what we could do is actually uh, switch to capitalization because we don't need all these freight and other things which we are doing over here and uh, getting uh, 80 coins instead of 80 shields for example in Zurich is a very good idea um, so I don't know let me end the turn here I guess and at the beginning of the next turn we'll uh, see what we can do with the capitalization Food storage exhausted in Interlock and famine feared. Oh, population decrease in Interlock and, and they built a harbor. Ah, okay, of course, we had uh, some hunger there and no surplus food in the food storage. So we basically lost the settler, which we have used to grow this city. Okay, well, now we have a surplus of one. That will not be enough. We need uh, some help. So maybe we can use the caravan. Okay, let's let's build a temple then. Yeah, that's fine. Barracks in build, that's fine. You can switch to capitalization right now. Only two. Well, better than nothing. Uh, Swiss scientists discover the labor union. Allows us to build some new units. And let's read the description as well. Labor unions arose in the 18th and 19th century in response to the poor working conditions brought on by an intense competition for jobs and the increasing dependence of the working class on their employers created by the move towards industrialization. Early labor unions formed by skilled laborers in specific fields met with opposition from both employers and the government. In the 19th century, laws were passed leg legalizing trade unions and by the 20th century, unions were formed in semi or unskilled fields such as mining, transportation and dock working. Binding their interests together and bargaining collectively, trade unions forced factory and business owners to provide better working conditions and economic status for their workers. Great. Let's continue with the nuclear fission and Geneva. Could actually carry food supplies, why not? Greek. Change to capitalization. Excellent. Ten more. Coins, you can go down, build a mine. Okay, and the caravan from Geneva, carrying food, by the way, will go to Interlaken. And uh, if we establish the trade route, then Geneva will have one less food. And you can see it over here as well, which uh, they provide to Interlaken, which has one uh, food more from the route and therefore surplus of two which enables us to grow I guess in uh, some time okay so that's fine uh, you can't switch to a, you have a production of zero come on this city is so hopeless okay let's um, let's go up there and build some more Mines, the settlers will. Hmm, what can we do actually with you? Let's go and help Landquart a little bit by building irrigation over here as well. And that's the end of the turn already. Okay, I will um, switch to capitalization when, wherever I can. So, but I will do that off camera because it will take some time. Bear with me, I'll be right back. Okay, so we have capitalization almost everywhere except for the cities where the freight is almost finished. And we have achieved a uh, total income of uh, more than 300, which is acceptable, I guess. Let's continue. Let's 
think it's the marketplace. You have everything you need, so switch to... You have actually a nice production. You could also build a factory. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Next, we discover the secret of nuclear fission. Okay, allows us to build the Manhattan Project, which we will not do just yet. Only after we defeat the Persians and maybe we'll uh, use some nuclear weapons on the Sioux. I'm not a big fan of using nuclear weapons in this game, but somebody has already asked for that, so I guess I, I might as well show you how does it work and look like. So, according to Einstein's theory of relativity, even the smallest bit of matter is equivalent to a tremendous amount of energy. For instance, two pounds of matter, if converted completely into energy, would produce energy equivalent to the explosive force of 22 megatons of high explosives. In 1939, based on German experiments that successfully split the uranium atom, physicists were able to explain the process of nuclear fission. When a large, unstable atomic nucleus splits or fissions, the result is two or more smaller, more stable nuclei accompanied by the release of tremendous amounts of energy and lingering deadly ra radioactivity. The first application of this powerful technology was in warfare. Well, what a surprise. A top-secret research effort in the US known as the Manhattan Project studied the fission process and eventually produced the first atomic bombs which were dropped on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. These relatively small bombs, the only atomic weapons ever used in a war, each produced an explosion equivalent to more than 20,000 tons of TNT. The nuclear weapons of today are capable of producing explosions thousands of times more powerful. That is really scary. Let's discover the nuclear power. Rosa builds courthouse. You can switch to capitalization as well. Lausanne can carry silver. Why not? Lugano oil, Basel oil, whatever. Landquart builds a marketplace. Switch to capitalization as well. Very good. So, Basel, capitalization, excellent. Go to Zurich, keep moving, and fortify, Lugano, switch to capitalization as well, perfect, go to Zurich, keep moving, fortify, in Lausanne, the same, keep moving, fortify, okay, build a railroad, build a road, sleep. And it's the end of the turn already. Okay, how does it look like? Capitalization everywhere. University in Vaduz. We might as well buy this. Hmm, not just yet, a little bit later. Freight. Two turns, come on. Just build it. Factory and temple. Okay, that's fine. How are you doing, by the way? Surplus of two. That's fine. Production of zero. That's not okay. We'll send some uh, engineers there to improve the land, I guess, very soon. Okay. We are fine over here. Let's end the turn. See what discovery we make now. We discover the secret of nuclear power. Allows us to build nuclear plant. Increases ship movement rates by one. Excellent, excellent. In addition to its potential for destruction, the energy released in nuclear fission was seen as a potential source of controlled power generation. By 1944, large-scale nuclear reactors were in operation for the production of plutonium, although the energy produced by these reactors was not used. Following the Second World War, increased efforts were turned toward the extensive use of nuclear power to produce electricity. Nuclear power plants use the radiant energy of a controlled nuclear reaction to heat water, converting it to steam to spin turbines that generate electricity. 
The major drawback to nuclear fission is the lack of a safe means of disposal for the waste produced by the reaction, which retains its lethal radioactivity for hundreds of years. Another hazard is the possibility of a malfunction in the reactor that could lead to a meltdown of a core. Despite massive safety precautions, human error and equipment failures can lead to devastating accidents, such as the explosion at Chernobyl at 1986, which at least, in which at least 30 people were killed and thousands lost their homes and faced possible long-term illness after exposure to near-lethal near doses of radiation. Because of growing public concern, the development of new nuclear power plants has slowed as scientists search for viable solutions to these problems. Okay, and now we can discover only flight. Okay, let's do that then. Locarno can carry wool. And the flight cancels the effect of Colossus. Did we just make two discoveries in the same turn? I think we did. I think we did. That's excellent. Wow. Okay, Swiss scientists discover the secret of flight. Cancels the effect of Colossus, um, which will, I think, greatly decrease the trade in Zurich, but uh, hopefully we can somehow manage to make one-turn discoveries and allows us to build flying units. Okay, the idea of flight has tantalized humans since the dawn of time. Studies regarding the possibility of producing a flying machine date back to 13th century. In the 16th century, Leonardo da Vinci proposed a number of inventions that eventually came to pass, including the propeller and the parachute. Throughout the 19th century, various engineers experimented successfully with gliders and experiments with compressed air and steam engines attempted to produce self-powered flight with limited success. The key to success in powered flight was the invention of the internal combustion engine. Just after the turn of the 20th century, Orwell and Wilbur Wright made the first four controlled sustained human flights at Kitty Hawk and Sea. The technology of flight advanced rapidly from this landmark event and within a relatively few years aircraft were circling the globe, safely delivering passengers and mail at record speeds. Ok, let's continue with the laser and go to Interlaken and start doing something over here. Go to Interlaken, over there, go to Interlaken. here. Ok. In Locarno. Hello, Sue. You are in my territory. Go away. Let's switch to capitalization. And this guy should go to actually also to Interlaken probably. Interlaken demands wool. I'll keep moving anyway. And we want to disband you to help uh, producing the temple, which we can now buy. Ok, that's uh, fine. Are we still... Yeah, as you can see, the Colossus is obsolete, so we have a decreased trade from... I don't remember from how much, but certainly above 100 to only 99, which is ok, I guess. Let's have a look. Discoveries every two turns. Ok, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Let's go up to 90. Excellent, that brings us to one turn discoveries again. Perfect. Actually, amazing. Ok. Everything's still ok. So you are not a threat. Beal is defended. And Persians probably don't want to attack us just yet. I think they will be building a lot of armor now, a lot of tanks. In Montreux we have defenses, in Beal as well. What else do we need to defend? I mean, we could go over here, or at least there, yeah. You, my dear, will go and assume position over here, 45. Ok, so we are well defended. 
I would say. Yeah, we are. Okay, let's continue researching. The Sioux government has been overthrown. Interlaken builds the temple. You can switch to a library now. Still production of zero, however. Doesn't matter. And we discovered the secret of the laser. Allows us to build the SDI defense, which uh, protects us against, uh, I think, uh, nuclear attacks. We will build that in Zurich eventually. But first, let's read the description. Laser is an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Lasers produce an amplified coherent beam of light by using photons to energize or excite the electrons in the beam. The principles for the underlying theory of the stimulated emission of light was first proposed by Einstein in 1917. The first helium-neon gas laser was built in 1961. Years of research and development have led to a wide variety of laser applications in many different fields. Lasers can be used for everything from the precision cutting of almost any material and performing microsurgery to reading digital data and music information off of a, a compact disc. The military cur currently uses laser for weapons targeting systems and it has been proposed that laser technology could be used to defend against an enemy missile attacks. Okay, let's discover the radio now. Let's check the discoveries every two turns again. Okay. So, what shall we do about that? I mean, we can give the technology to Sue again. We could uh, convert some people to scientists, or we could just... Uh, we can just be okay with two turns. Yeah, 350, 60... 60% total income, 308. Really? Why are we getting only like a few coins of income? That is strange. Okay. Well, in that case, let's keep... Hmm. We need the luxuries. Let's... Uh, Let's convert a few of those to scientists, or maybe we can do it somewhere else, like in Bellinzona, for example. No, they are also quite good. Arosa. Oh, we have actually an unhappy citizen here. Well, that's not acceptable. Let's do this and convert this guy to a scientist. Actually, we are building also some universities. Let's finish those in Vaduz. Perfect. And nowhere else. Okay. How does it look like now? Still two turns. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let me talk to the Sioux. Yeah, you can have it. And we'll give you some more even. Robotics. And offer knowledge of the laser. And offer knowledge of the labor union. Perfect. Some more. Refrigeration. We have discovered so much since I gave them the technology for the last time, really? Okay. Now I shouldn't have given them the fundamentalism. Anyway. Give them the knowledge of nuclear power, I guess. I mean, it's safe to give them the technology because they will not share it with the Persians. They don't even have... Oh, I don't know if I should give them the espionage. No. I will not give them the espionage, at least. They can't share anything with uh, the Persians, because they don't even have the embassy with the uh, Persians. They never met them, so they can't share the technology or go into alliance uh, with them against me. 
they have only two towns so it's basically very safe and uh, let's check it now discoveries every single turn again perfect that's what we wanted and uh, yeah that's fine that's fine we can live with that you need to go to interlaken again and we'll be hmm, what shall we do build a mine over here and these guys will change to grassland yeah one two and three grasslands build a mine over there and it's the end of the turn already let's uh, and end of the episode as well um so let's save and I will see you next time. Till then, bye bye.